Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Which United States Supreme Court decision was based on the Free Exercise Clause? The Free Exercise Clause of the First Amendment is a critical component of the U.S. Constitution, protecting individuals' right to practice their religion freely. This clause has been the basis for several landmark Supreme Court decisions. One of the earliest and most influential cases was Cantwell v. Connecticut, 1940. In this case, the Supreme Court established the framework for its free exercise jurisprudence, distinguishing between the freedom to believe and the freedom to act. The court clarified that while the government cannot regulate or prohibit religious beliefs, it can regulate religious actions to protect society, provided it does so cautiously to avoid unduly infringing on religious freedom. Another significant case is Employment Division v. Smith, 1990, where the Supreme Court ruled that neutral and generally applicable laws do not violate the Free Exercise Clause, even if they incidentally burden religious practices. This decision established that individuals are not exempt from complying with such laws simply because they conflict with their religious beliefs. The Wisconsin v. Yoder, 1972 case is also noteworthy. Here, the court held that Wisconsin's compulsory education law violated the Free Exercise Clause by requiring Amish children to attend school beyond the eighth grade, which would have endangered their religious beliefs and way of life. The court balanced the state's interest in education against the parents' interest in the religious upbringing of their children, favoring the latter. In Church of the Lukumi Babalu IV, City of Hialeah, 1993, the Supreme Court found that local laws targeting animal sacrifice as part of the Santeria religion violated the Free Exercise Clause. The court determined that these laws were designed to persecute or oppress the Santeria religion, which is unconstitutional. More recently, Kennedy Bremerton School District, 2022, addressed the Free Exercise Clause in the context of a high school coach's right to engage in personal, silent prayers on the field. The court ruled that the school district's prohibition on such prayers was not neutral and therefore violated the coach's rights under the Free Exercise Clause. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.